Here are the vocabulary words on page 114 in the textbook. These are all question words. Booby, quiz, quid, cor. All right, so those four are the question words. <clears throat> Obi is where, it's an adverb. Quiz is who, so that's a pronoun. Quid is what, it's a pronoun. And cor is an adverb, why. Okay, so on exercise 131, you'll have some questions that you have to answer. Cur deum laudamus. Why do we praise God? Deum laudamus. Quo deus bonus est et dominus caeli et terrae. So the, the question is, why do we praise God? And then you write the answer in Latin. We praise God because God is good and he is the Lord of heaven and earth. Mommy. Number two, cor Romani cum Gallis poniavant. Why do the Romans fight with the Gauls? And then you write the answer, Romani cum Gallis poniavant propter on account of caedem centurionum, on account of the slaughter of the cent um, centurions. So you have to make up an answer in Latin for these questions. Okay, so here's more cor, why, quis. Who portava manium frumenti copium? Who carried, who was carrying a large supply of grain? And your answer is servus portava. The servant carried manium copium frumenti. And then what quid para dux bonus? What did the good leader prepare? You write the answer, dux bonus parat gladios. So this is in the plural accusative. Um, swords et copium frumenti, and a supply of grain. Okay, so half of these are done for you just to give you a model of how to answer these questions, and then the rest of them you have to do yourself. Okay, honey. And then the rest of the vocabulary is locus, loki. This is a second declension masculine. Sorry, this is um, second declension masculine in the singular. And then as it says here on page 115, in the plural it becomes a second declension neuter noun. And then alienus is an adjective. So it's listed in the masculine, feminine, and neuter. So it's a second, first and second declension adjective. So you'll follow the first, sorry, the second declension endings for the masculine and neuter, and the first declension endings for the feminine. And it means unfavorable, another's, or foreign, or alien. Okay. So as always, email me, text me, or call me with questions, and I'll be happy to answer them.